Hello, on this nice rainy day at Mastercraft's RV Center, we are going to do a walkthrough of our open range 338 BHS, uh, it's Highland Ridge open range 338 BHS. Uh, you can see they put seven people can sleep in this thing. Actually, it's like eight, uh, maybe even nine or ten, depending on how skinny a couple of the people are or if they're kids. Uh, it comes in at a little over 10,000 pounds, so it is one big heavy camper. I mean, it's 33 feet on the inside, and, you know, it's almost 40 feet uh, bumper to end, bumper to tongue, tongue to bumper, whichever way you want to go. Get it with a lot of options, including king or queen bed. I will go over the options on this one uh, when we get inside. But first, I want to kind of show you the outside of the thing. Uh, you got two awnings, uh, outdoor speakers, uh, five slides. Uh, we go up front here. You have 30-pound tanks and an incredible uh, ball uh, uh, electric tongue jack. Huge, uh, huge foot for it to sit on. Uh, that's just my uh, booster gives me some power inside to show you everything with the lights on You got electric stabilizers with the JT strong arm. The strong arm is wonderful uh, Because it really does make things more stable and if you accidentally uh, Start to pull off with the camper uh, with it down or uh, Maybe it's not quite perfectly level and starts to roll back a little bit those strong arms really come in nice to help stiffen it up all right, I've opened the outdoor kitchen. I do love this outdoor kitchen. We got spot right here. Lots of lip to hold your stuff in to keep it from falling out. You got a nice sink. Uh, I like this too because instead of, I'm trying to do this with one hand and it does not work so well. It's really nice with two. Um, these are a lot nicer than those lasps or latches or whatever you call those things that gets stuck all the time. Right here you see we got uh, a great skillet. Uh, you can put your pots on the skillet um, and it'll still hold it. Uh, it'll still heat it up and everything. You got over here a cutting board with spot underneath to store things. Uh, that's pretty, pretty sweet. And then you got uh, big uh, plug-in refrigerator out here. Uh, the fridge can run when you're going down the road because everything's on an inverter. And then I turned on the lights up there. You got a little funky light system for you. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun there. It's got backup camera, it's got Wi-Fi. Uh, I believe I've told you it's got the outdoor speakers, it's got the nice steps, got the big grab handle. We're gonna come inside here. Uh, the the uh, battery is uh, on the thing. The, the jumper you saw up front is kind of starting to die. So uh, the camera is doing a pretty good job keeping it bright in here, but uh, it is getting a hair dark. Now, the one thing I really like about open range, uh, well, not one thing. There's lots of things I like about open range, but I do love these couches. You can see uh, in our photos online, we'll pull this out and we'll make that into a big bed. And so you can sleep two people across there uh, kind of comfortably. You can even put one head here, one head there. Maybe there's their feet overlap a little bit. So you can get two people on that couch if you, if you need to. Up here at the kitchen, you can see they put a little baggie on so we don't make it so messy. Uh, that's the antifreeze they use to test the water lines. You got a chopping board. That's a cover for the big farmhouse sink. And then the, that is a drying rack to put your dishes on. Come back here and underneath here, you can see there is a lot of uh, storage space. You, you got uh, a spot here for your uh, spices or you can put in your dirty washcloth or whatever. You got shelves and stuff. I can't really see that much with the camera, but it's a shelf that goes all the way back as far as the island. It's dark wood with a camera, just doesn't come out that well. <clears throat> Some of these get a little hard to open because they are designed to stick so that they don't pop open going down the road. And if you see the lights coming and going, my, my, my battery box is dying. So hopefully I can finish this up. Uh, trash can underneath there. <clears throat> so here's the other thing I'm gonna show you. Uh, residential stove, convection 
a microwave oven, and getting that's a residential one, and then you have a residential size refrigerator. Uh, I'm gonna back up here. That refrigerator is on an inverter, and uh, so it will actually operate while you're going down the road. It'll actually draw power from both the battery and the truck uh, to to give you everything you uh, you need to run. It's only like 400 watts or something. It's not it's not so bad. Here is the travel link system. You can hook to it with your phone app uh, through Bluetooth, so you don't even have to get up. You could be lazy sitting on the couch and, you know, turn on the lights, turn off the lights, turn on the fans, that kind of stuff. You got a kind of like a coat rack there. Uh, they put the TV here. Then they got a nice stereo system uh, with some good speakers and a fireplace that doubles as a space heater. This unit has a huge back room and it is dark because I didn't turn on the lights. There we go. Some of the lights are on. I don't know where the other lights are. Oh, it's a puck light up there. You got to push the little button. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do that because I think you will be able to see well enough with the camera. Bunk. Uh, two small people, maybe. A couch that flips into a bunk. You just take the pillows off. And, you know, now it's a bunk. Uh, you got this dinette underneath here that is 42 inches deep that is quite a bit deeper than normal slides all the slides on these things are 42 inches the bodies on these are 100 inches wide so you got a much bigger camper and i mean even the ceiling the ceiling's uh, got seven feet so i'm sticking my hand up there and and i got lots of room above my head and i'm i'm six foot tall uh and you can see i'm sticking my hand up there flat and stuff so it's it's not that uh you know, it, it's not really on top of you. Uh, and then that flips up, gives you a place. Over here, bathroom. So this is the half bath for the bunk room. We're going to shut off that light to try to save a little battery power. Because we uh, we need to do that. We're running low on batteries here. So we're going to shut some of those up. We're going to keep that light on behind us. And we're going to do awning light off. Awning light off, living room light off. There we go. Okay, so that will cut some of that power right there. Oh, then we got light. Okay, that's light three, light two, light, light one. Okay, oh, oh, look at that. No, okay. Okay, there we go. I know. Yeah, I'm really distracting to listen to. Okay, you have a huge, huge shower. And even a skylight over it. Uh, this shower up to here is taller than me, so it's got to be about six one, six two ish, maybe taller, all the way from the bottom up to there. So lots of room up there. I should probably look online just see what it says. The the space is big storage, big big storage. They give you a nice black. Uh, gray, yeah, black, more black than gray, uh, shower head, um, and, and, uh, handles and everything. You can see nice towel holder and then plenty of space underneath the sink. Really, really nice. Lots of room at the sink. All that kind of stuff is great. So you got a big spacious bathroom. Now we step over here, in this one we have a king size bed, and I'm gonna flip on the light right there. The king size, I know it's a king size because it's the same width as the slide. If you got a queen, it'd be a hair shorter. You got a little spot right there to set something. Uh, you do have plugs that you can put a CPAP. You can put your CPAP here, and it'll reach over there. I got. I'm telling you, my cord's long and my, I have a CPAP and I have the air thing and the air thing would reach over there. Uh, you could also put it over here in the closet uh, and reach this other person. The bed has a nice mattress, which means I really can't upsell you uh, and a lot of storage. So that's right. I can't, I can't. Oh, and you see, they put that nice bar right there. You don't know how many of those I've had to fix under warranty because they just connect it right to the plywood and it just rips everything apart. You need something to stiffen it up and really hold the force of those 
for struts. But the, lay on the lay on the mattress, sit on the bed. You'll see how comfy it is. Get up here, and uh, I'm gonna flip on this light in here, and you can see you got lots of storage in the closet. And look at these little holes. That's to hang your shirts and stuff on. It's not gonna slide all over going down the road. And look at this. You can get to the pass through. You can get into the pass-through, get some things out of storage if you need them down there. And then we got this big old closet right here. And you know what? That big old closet? Washer and dryer hookups. So that's right. We can put washer-dryer combo unit, washer-dryer stackable there, all that kind of stuff. In front of the bed, they give you a, a little chest of drawers. And a pop-up for your USB connection. Charge your phone right there. We're going to shut off that light. We're going to come back over here. And uh, we are going to turn on this light underneath here. There we go. Let's talk about what this camper has. And then we'll wrap it up. Because I don't want to I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's pretty long and there's a lot to see. This is a big, big five-slide camper. 100 inch wide body. You can also see it's always got a four season package. The underneath isn't just ducted for blowing heat into it. It's got a return duct. So the heat flows better underneath there. This design is used in uh, zero degree tests. The fifth wheels are actually tested at zero degrees and they work great. You can camp in them. Uh, these are just built similar. They, they don't test the travel trailers to zero degrees. Um, so you got your heat enclosed underbelly. You can see the ceiling is an R38 and the floor is an R38. And then the walls are an R9. Uh, so it's very, very well insulated for a travel trailer. You got the full size fridge and all that great stuff. The executive package, you get two ACs, a 15 and a 13 and a half. Uh, the ACs, they say quiet. It is very, very quiet. They're actually mounted above the ceiling or above the roof on like a pedestal almost. And what that does is it stops it from vibrating so much and using that roof as like a giant sound speaker to, to make the sound come through. So as it sits up on that pedestal and everything, it's very, very quiet. It's, it's like sitting in a regular home. Uh, then they got, you know, uh, the TVs included and all that kind of stuff. The stuff I really want to tell you about is the fact that you have a solar package. You do have a heat pump on this one, which means the heat pumps run to about, uh, I think, 25 on these. Uh, and what it does is you don't burn as much propane because you can actually heat with your heat pump instead. Uh, you do still have a furnace. They do give you a barbecue grill. That is underneath the bed in that box that we saw. And it hooks up outside. Uh, and then, of course, you got the huge 21-foot refrigerator, which I really got to show you. It has an ice maker, water, everything. It is better than the refrigerator at my house. Whirlpool Gold. So, open range, 338BHS is a and a huge couch that you can take the uh, have those tables, you can watch the TV, use it for eating. It's an unbelievable amount of space you get in, in a camper. Uh, you got to come down and see it. This is the most popular travel trailer my factory sales guy has seen in his 30 years of selling. Well, 25 years of selling, I exaggerate. Uh, but it is their most popular travel trailer, and uh, I can see why. You just have so much room. So much. It's incredible. So this is a great one if you're going to full-time it. It's a great one if you got a lot of kids. It's just a great camper. Come down and see it, Mastercrafts RV Center, Hopkinsville, Kentucky.